Robredo has come a long way since first picking up a racket. A former world number five, last year he rediscovered some of his very best form. The highlight, a famous win over Roger Federer en route to the US Open quarterfinals. It was a surprise because Robredo, I think that was 10-0 against, against Roger and was, you know, the first time is always special and obviously with Roger and in US Open, uh, it was a fantastic, fantastic match in three, in three sets, I think. Um, here was a, a surprise, but a little surprise. To play great in the Grand Slam is always uh, something that uh, you'll always dream, no? And, and having the chance to, to beat Roger, that uh, for me is, for the moment, the best player of all times. Uh, it has been a, an amazing experience for me, and, and I will remember it a lot of times. Robredo was keen to build on that form this year. He's finally free of the injury problems, which have hampered his career in the past. And at 32, he believes there is still plenty more to achieve. I think that Tommy is, is an example for all the younger players. Now he's close to top 10 and he's fighting to stay there. And you know, I think that the people love uh, Robredo because he fights always a lot. Uh, he perseveres every year. Uh, he, he, he deserves to stay there. I want to focus very much to be uh, around top 10 and, and uh, we'll try, but who knows uh, what's going to happen. No, but, but anyway, anyway it's going to be a great goal and we're going to fight for it. Tommy hasn't just been fixed on his own career path. Away from playing, he's been dedicated to a cause close to his heart. His work with a wheelchair tennis tournament, inspired by his friend Santi Silvas, is a source of real pride. I started like uh, six uh, years ago. I, I created it because I had a friend uh, that uh, he was in a wheelchair and, and he died. And before dying, he always asked me to, to help him to, to raise a tournament uh, because he always told me that I had a lot more power than him to get uh, some money from the sponsors. And well, we are running it and, and then we created the foundation uh, because uh, in case uh, there is a little bit of money that at the end of the tournament uh, we wanted to, to share it with uh, some people with problems and for the moment uh, it's going quite all right. The foundation's success has grown with the help of an ATP Aces for Charity grant. Another example of the world of tennis giving back. It's a great privilege to be for us as a governing body to be able to uh, to give to players to give either to their own foundations or charities of their of their choice, and uh, you know, giving back to whatever cause is close to their heart um, has you know real resonance. I think that it's a great uh, initiative that the, that the ATP is uh, helping some uh, foundation or some people that they need uh, help and. I think it's, it's good. No? I always say the same. Uh, tennis has uh, given me unbelievable uh, to give a little bit back. I think it's uh, like an obligation for me. You know? So it's like uh, helping these guys and, and I'm doing it and I'm very proud. A true inspiration. Tommy Robredo's love for all things tennis continues to shine as brightly as ever. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, roll on Rome. We're behind the scenes at the next ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event, the Internazionale BNL d'Italia. And he's Italy's inspiration. We speak to Italian number one, Fabio Fognini. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.